How close is too close? Our health specialist, Leah Sarich, now with how a new study recommends people with cardiac devices, uh, what they should be doing with their smartphones. Right? They may not have thought this through. Mm. So this is kind of interesting, but I like to start with the great analogy, if I can. Yes. So let's think of the heart this way, like a house. So a house has walls. That's like the muscles of the heart. A house also has a plumbing system and an electrical system, just like your heart. It has right. a plumbing system and an electrical system. And so we're talking about the electrical system today. And the electrical system can go haywire if there's something wrong with those walls or the muscles of the heart or right. if there's something wrong with the plumbing system or sometimes it just acts up on its own. But what that means is that there are literally millions of Canadians using cardiac devices. So right. we're talking about implantable defibrillators, pacemakers, and a new thing which is kind of cool called resynchronization devices. So there are millions of people mm. that have these devices implanted in them. Of course, there are also millions of people that use smartphones. The question is, how should these things be used together? Let's remember, one in five people have heart rhythm problems. So that is a lot of people. And it's critical that these devices are used to treat these issues. But new research shows the risk of the two actually interfering, so the devices and these smartphones, is actually quite low. They took a large number of patients, over 300, and they looked at what's the effect if you were put various cell phones directly over top of the device. So typically you wouldn't have it directly over top of the device unless of course it's in your pocket. But even in that situation, which would be the very worst, only about one out of 308 patients actually had problems. So for me that's actually quite reassuring. So less than a third of a percent of people, you know, less than one in 300 in fact had problems. And if you see here in those pictures, what he's doing is actually holding the phone right over where the cardiac device would be. Right. So that's really the only time when things are going to be problematic. So of course, you want to be sort of careful with where you're doing that. But let's remember, people um, have these pacemakers and defibrillators not for small, minor reasons, no, right? These right. are for big, big reasons. So for example, in the case of a pacemaker, if it's not working properly, if mm -hmm. it's got some interference happening there, we're talking about a person fainting, right. falling, right? So they could hit their head, there could be many other implications. In the case of a defibrillator, if it's not working properly, they could receive a great big shock, right? Right. right? Because they're be wanting to restart that heart. Serious. Or yeah. what's happening is that they don't get the shock when they need it. Mm. So that can be potentially very, very dangerous. Right. So despite this latest research that shows that the risk is actually low of these two things interfering, because the consequences could be so big, they're still recommending that really patients with cardiac devices use their smartphones very carefully. Mm. We're always cautious because we put these devices in because people have serious problems that might result in you know, them fainting or even having other issues if they were to be interfered with. So we ask people not to go near big magnetic fields and similarly we don't want them to put their cell phone directly over top of their device and if they're using it it's best to be at least 10 centimeters away so having it you know, on the opposite side if the device is on the left used on the right or vice versa. So those are some pretty simple recommendations. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you've got your cardiac device on the left, make sure you've got your phone on the other side. So don't Good put call. it in the breast pocket over that smartphone, right? Or if you're going to use it, don't use it right over top of your smartphone. Mm. Put it over here. They're talking 10 to 12 centimeters away from your cardiac device. So okay. those are simple recommendations. They're going to keep your devices working properly, which is what we need and which is why they're there in the first place. Very sound advice. More yes. on your blog? More on my blog. You bet. A little later this morning. Health specialist Leah Sarge, thank you for that breakfasttelevision.ca the way to find that